can see how I set a typical indoor vlog up. Today I couldn't really film outside, it has been absolutely pouring down with rain constantly for about four days and I'm not prepared to get all the equipment soaking wet and also you wouldn't be able to hear much anyway with the rain. Thankfully the skylight above me is not too loud on that so thankfully you cannot hear it crashing down. So that's a little bit of good. But yeah, it's just a little sort of behind the scenes and yeah, how I set the camera up, just sort of chatting and yeah, just a typical sort of regular indoor vlog for you guys. Righto guys, so first bit of equipment is the tripod. My friend has had this so many years and they kind of Gave, lent it to me and they sometimes still borrow it if they need it. It is really strong, it is really steady, it's, you know, really looked after. And yeah, so you would pull the lever up there so the camera would sit on there pretty straightforward and pull the legs out like that, flip these so it's telescopic and to the desired length or whatever and yeah so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to put it in a little room that I actually film in and start setting that up so you can see so I'm just entering into the room and this is the newly decorated room and it is one of the bathrooms it is one of the smallest rooms so yeah guys, no glamour here I'm afraid, it just is a straightforward <laughs> bathroom. Skylight is up there and yeah some moss has fallen on the glass and when it rains obviously occasionally you guys can hear that. So yeah, that is it really for that. But what can you do? No current flooring at the moment, so it's one of the last jobs to do. So I will show you how I set up this room. Okay, so here, definitely not glamorous guys, but I'm not a glamorous person anyway. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. So yeah, here we go, set the tripod up. <laughs> Pull the legs out. And the next one. Usually do it a lot quicker than this. <laughs> I think now I'm kind of like watching myself and being filmed is like really put me off. So this will go over the dunny area. And yeah, pull that out a little bit more. Make sure that is locked in so it doesn't go anywhere. And Fill around with it. There we go. So that sits kind of there. So that is stage one. Now, as you can see there, I have my pattern collection. So if I was going to show and tell about my patterns, I would come in here 
and choose the patterns if I'd already sewn anything and get that prepared. Also above there is some of the fabrics so again if I've sewn anything I would have chosen the fabric from my small <laughs> fabric collection there and then accompanied the fabric and or make with the pattern and then obviously talk sorry with you guys the journey of a make so just as for example purposes only I would have bought the make and put it on there along with say a pattern and you guys have seen that pattern and I did the collaboration with the wonderful Helen and so yeah they would sit on there if I was doing a fabric haul or pattern haul or makes and yeah it's pretty straightforward just so it's close by so I could reach it okay so teenage earthling is helping me do teenage earthling cam today now this is the store that I used, just grabbed it from the utility. It is a vintage one and might be a bit of a tight squeeze teenager I think, so if you'd like to come in. So squish in and that's it, maybe go over there. So I have to close the door and then I would place the stool here. So that's set up for that. Okay guys, so quickly I will tell you guys what I'm wearing. So you've seen this before, this like regular basic tee and it's the New Look K6230. So it's that one there. And yeah, just something to quickly put on. And I just got it teamed up with a pair of jeans today. So this corner is yeah not exactly very attractive so I take the soap dish off and then pretty it up with some flowers on my boxes so I will do that next. Yeah so okay so this is for my room so this is one of my little boxes here and again another little one there so yeah so quite simply I just remove the bits and pieces there. I would just set those up like that and then a couple of days ago I got some pretty roses and then just quite simply set those guys on top it might be too high in the frame if that is the case then I would put them like that so I would set the camera up and see in the background if I need to adjust the main Canon camera. Okay guys, so next up I will attach the little doobly flips to the bottom of the Canon camera. So then that would then get attached to the tripod obviously. I have my little <laughs> two cents coin there that I keep nearby. It's always a bit of a fiddle doing this, so yeah, you kind of have to push and yeah, there's another little gadget thing on there as well, it's spring loaded, so yeah, well, okay, it's not too bad today, so there you go, put that on there, and then obviously all that over there, slot that in. And there you go guys, so the camera is ready, I would then sit down and position myself, I may show you that or not, so that would be my next stage. Also guys, because this room is pretty echoey, what I do, I grab a couple of towels and just hang them around so the sound gets absorbed, because apart from the towels that you would dry your hands is after you've washed your hands, 
it's not enough. So it's, for a small room, it's pretty echoey. So yeah, I hang one of these on the doors and I hang the other one on the light uh, fitting. So next I'm sit down and now I'm going to prepare the camera. I can see in the window there that the flowers are in shot and I'm just using one box today. So that is pretty okay. So what I do, I press record and then work out where I am in the window and obviously the background with the little flowers in the box. Make sure everything's pretty straight or as straight as it can be. Okay, so like I just said, I would dig around, I would press record for just a few seconds to make sure that everything in the window there was pretty well wanted it. So just as an example, there we go, you can see pretty much everything is relatively straight. Remove that and then I would sort myself out, make sure I'm level as well, not as level as I can be. Yeah, but usually I wouldn't have teenage athlete. <laughs> Hello, teenage athlete. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. So then I would then just erase that because there's no point that being in there. Yeah, doing this blind. It's lucky I know where everything is, isn't it? So that's pretty much it for. That. Right guys, so I will now do my intro. Sometimes I do my intro pretty much first time, sometimes it's a couple of times, but here goes. G'day everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Anna and this is You Got Me in Stitches. I hope you guys are having a fantastic time whenever you have been up to. So today is a little bit different. In fact, I did that guys in one take, so that's pretty awesome. I'll add a couple of little stills if I've taken some stills along the way, but now I will just do my little chat and later on you guys will see behind the scenes with Anna. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I know some of you guys are vloggers yourself so again let me know how you set up you know do things go a little bit awry what do you do and yeah do you I mean I keep a little vlogging diary anyway also in my head as well so I kind of really good at remembering what I'm going to film each week and yeah so but I would have liked to have set it up outside as well I mean it's not too much different but it's nice to see you know I might do it if, if the rain has settled a bit I might just walk out there with the camera and just check to you guys so yeah yeah okay so at the moment the rain has kind of stopped so I'm just going out the back and yeah carefully go down these steps here and then walk over here now I've moved the table now typical isn't it the table and chair would usually be here but I've just put it to that side so it's beginning coming to fall season and winterizing it's I'm just kind of just tidying up the garden and everything so yeah and then you would come up here little pathway And then we've got a lined area all across there. I'm not going to walk in there because the grass is absolutely, yeah, sorry about those screaming children and everything in the background. So, yeah, front door there. And then another little pathway. And then another lined area. Probably looks really, really small but it is actually much bigger sorry about the wind going past the mic guys little baby bass yep little bird table there that is so old guys it's unbelievable and then there's more garden around the other side 
I'm not doing great going to walk around there. So, yeah, sometimes I stand there and do the mix and or video steals of the garments. Sometimes I stand here. Or, oh no, I am going to go on the lawn now today, guys. <laughs> Sometimes I will stand there. And, yeah, it's a little bit overgrown in some places. And look, I just recently purchased some new slippers. And I'm back outside now, aren't I? But it's absolutely soaking wet. And, yeah, of course, the famous traffic. But what can you do about that? And it's a bit, mm, yeah, usually I stand sort of there. I temporarily just got some, I don't know what you call them, wooden things. They are to go over the compost area. Yeah, so I walk back up these steps. <coughs> and sneeze, excuse me. Yeah, and then this is kind of all the patio area so you can sit down and have a barbie cook out or whatever and more sticks there and then this is another area where I take stills of my makes and or videos and over there is just the log pile for the real fire and everything so yeah that, that's pretty much it but if I would have been doing filming outside then obviously I would set the tripod up here I would then put the chair there and the table would go there yeah so that's that guys that's outside it's, it, that's it guys today so hopefully a nice quick video for you and yeah I had a bit of a, a giggle because you kind of all sort of like in automatic pilot and you just get on and do it automatically and when you actually have to stop and think about a bit of commentary and yeah that, that, that was like it's probably taking me so much longer now today to kind of set everything up so and thank you so much teenage athlete you're a star for helping me and yeah Safi was meowing in the background I think in one or two segments but it's all part of it anyway Hope you guys have a fantastic week. Look after yourselves. I myself haven't been doing a lot of sewing, so I have got something. I've started on a mock-up for something. And, yeah, I haven't really, apart from that, I haven't really done anything. So, as in sewing-wise, that is. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this little short video this week, please give me a thumbs up. Take care, guys.